man who's carrying on the banner of Teofilo Stevenson, that is Felix Savone, who pound for pound may be the best boxer in the world today at the amateur level. He is a one-time gold medalist and a four-time world champion. And uh, a pupil of Mr. Stevenson, you bet he is. There's Felix Savone on the left. And Robert Gear, at 20 years old, a San Jose, California native, whose dad's here to watch the bat tonight. And a product of the Northern Michigan University boxing program will represent Team USA. And on the surface, it would appear to be a mismatch. But when you're in that ring, anything can happen, and Robert Gear is very game tonight, even though he goes against the fabulous Felix Savon. Well, just to have the opportunity to step into the ring with a boxer of this caliber is, is, is really a memory for a, a very long time. Of course, you've got to be around when it's over, so you have to remember these things. That's but, right. Uh, Robert Gear is up to the challenge. We spoke to him today. He said, I'm, I'm ready for this. I want to dictate this bout. I've got the power. I've got the conditioning. I'm going after it. George Benedetto is the third man of the ring. This is our 12th and final bout of the night. These are the heavyweights at 201 pounds. And look at Robert Gear. He's doing exactly as his coach is instructing him. He's after Felix Savon in the opening seconds of round one. the boxing bio of Simone earlier today, dating all the way back to 1983, could not find a loss in his record. Now, he may have some, but they certainly don't print it. He's got this long biography, uh, but it doesn't show any defeats. He's virtually won everything he's been in. It's really kind of unbelievable. He's won everything from the Junior World Championships to the World Championship four times, to the Olympic Championship once, two Pan Am Championships and two Goodwill Games Championships. Put that one on your resume, Sam Over. Going against a guy, Van, who's only had 35 amateur bouts. Has been boxing only since 1990, Robert Gear. And a young man who, by his own admission, was a problem teen, got in all sorts of trouble, and uh, attributes boxing for having turned his life around, bought up some discipline, and uh, just seems to have his act together. And a few years ago, he had no idea where he'd end up with his life. He really does. And like you said, his father traveled all the way from San Jose, California, to watch him participate tonight. So this is a culmination of, even though it's only 30 bouts, a very difficult and arduous road, if you will, for Robert Gear. So he's in there with everything he's got right now against Felix Savard. He stepped up to the counter, stepped right up to the counter, but stepped right up to the right hand of Felix Savon and went straight down to the deck. Smartly, the referee terminated this contest. 119 of the first round. The referee stops the contest, and the winner, unquestionably, the awesome right hand of Felix Savon, 27-year-old Cuban heavyweight. Let's get the official announcement now from Ted. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee stopped the contest at a minute and 19 seconds into the first round. The winner, from the red right corner, Felix Savon of Cuba. And here, might I add, is fine. He has got his faculties about, his head is clear. He, in fact, went over and lifted Savon. It's an experience that the young Robert Gear won't soon forget, and hopefully he'll benefit from it. But he just ran into uh, an incredible right hand and a one-punch knockout. Or a one 